In nanotechnology, smaller is always better. Always. Except, of course, when it's not. In the case we're looking at today, it's definitely not. In this paper, the authors use computational fluid dynamics to model how magnetic micro-robots can move through cerebral arteries. They're able to derive equations that can tell you exactly what kind of magnetic gradients are needed to control a given robot of a given size. And it turns out, the bigger the robot, the better. You see, inside of an artery, drag and magnetic forces don't scale the way you think. On today's episode of Journal Club, we'll explore why and walk through the math that proves it. We'll see exactly how making robots bigger, that's hundreds of microns instead of a few dozen, actually makes them easier to control. But in order to understand any of this, we'll first need to back up and talk about why you'd be putting robots inside of a patient's arteries in the first place. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, you'll be getting this full episode in text and audio form delivered right to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.